David Graham, David Michael Graham, an English actor, was born on July 11, 1925, in London and lived a remarkable life until his passing on September 20th, 2024, at the age of 99. He gained widespread recognition for his voice work in various iconic shows, most notably Doctor Who, Thunderbirds, Peppa Pig, and Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Graham's ability to deliver distinct character voices helped shape the landscape of British television for over half a century. Graham grew up in an Orthodox Jewish household in London, but his life took a transformative turn when he decided to pursue acting. His decision was partly influenced by his family's connections to the United States, as his sister married a GI, and his uncle had also relocated to the U.S. After serving as a radar mechanic in the Royal Air Force during World War II, Graham trained in acting at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, where he studied under the famed acting teacher Sanford Meisner. After completing his training, Graham returned to England and began his theater career. His breakthrough came in the resistible rise of Arturo Ui, where he played alongside Leonard Rossiter. His versatility and talent with accents caught the attention of directors and fellow actors. One such recommendation came from director Michael Blakemore, which led to Graham being cast in Lawrence Olivier's theater company, performing in the production Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Graham's career took a major shift in 1958 when he met Jerry Anderson, a writer and producer known for creating puppet-based television shows. Anderson was impressed with Graham's skill in voice acting and offered him a role in Four Feather Falls, where Graham voiced Grandpa Twink. This role marked the beginning of a long and fruitful collaboration between Graham and Anderson. He became the voice behind several memorable characters in Anderson's productions, such as Dr. Beaker in Supercar, Matt Maddock in Fireball XL5, and various characters in Stingray. However, it was in 1963 when Graham cemented his place in television history by becoming the voice of the Daleks in the science fiction series Doctor Who. Alongside Peter Hawkins, Graham created the iconic, menacing tone of the Daleks, one of the show's most memorable antagonists. He voiced the Daleks in several of the first Doctor stories, including two feature films, Doctor Who and the Daleks and Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD. Although Graham departed from the role after a few years due to other commitments, he returned to the role in 2023 for a special colorized version of the Daleks, created for the show's 60th anniversary. In 1965, Graham became the voice of four major characters in the now-classic series Thunderbirds, Gordon Tracy, Brains, Aloysius Parker, and Carano. These characters became iconic in British pop culture, with Parker, in particular, being a fan favorite. Graham based Parker's voice on a waiter he had once met in a pub, and his portrayal became so beloved that even series creator Jerry Anderson named Parker his favorite character. Graham's collaboration with Anderson extended into film, as he voiced characters in the Thunderbirds film adaptations Thunderbirds Are Go and Thunderbird 6. Though he was not highly paid for his original work on the series, the frequent re-airings of the show helped Graham earn substantial royalties over time. Throughout the 1970s, Graham remained active in both television and radio. He was a member of the BBC's radio drama company between 1975 and 1977. In 1979, he appeared again in Doctor Who, this time as Professor Kerensky in the serial City of Death. Another major highlight of Graham's career during this period was his role in the famous 1984 Super Bowl commercial for Apple, in which he portrayed Big Brother in the dystopian ad promoting the release of the Macintosh computer. In the early 2000s, Graham took on another widely recognized role, voicing Grandpa Pig in the children's show Peppa Pig. This series became hugely successful, introducing Graham to a new generation of viewers. He continued to voice Grandpa Pig for many years and was deeply proud of his work on the show. In 2005, Graham also portrayed Albert Einstein in a BBC docudrama for the series Horizon, which he considered one of his most fulfilling roles. Graham continued to work well into his later years, notably reprising his role as Aloysius Parker in Thunderbirds Are Go, a reboot of the original series from 2015 to 2020. While K. Van Novak took over as the voice of Brains, 
Graham relished the opportunity to return to a role that had become synonymous with his name. Most of his recordings were done alongside actress Rosamund Pike, who played Lady Penelope in the reboot. In 2021, at the age of 96, Graham officially announced his retirement from voicing his Thunderbirds characters. Shortly afterward, it was revealed that he had suffered a stroke, limiting his mobility and confining him to his home. Despite these challenges, Graham continued to contribute to his craft by performing voiceovers from home and giving interviews. David Graham passed away on September 20th, 2024, at the age of 99, leaving behind a legacy defined by his exceptional talent as a voice actor. His ability to bring characters to life through his voice, whether in children's programming, science fiction, or dramatic theater, made him a beloved figure in British entertainment. Throughout his extensive career, Graham remained dedicated to his craft, influencing generations of voice actors and entertainers. His work continues to be celebrated, and his iconic roles in shows like Thunderbirds and Doctor, who will be remembered for years to come. In conclusion, David Graham had an estimated net worth of $17 million at the time of his demise. He accumulated the impressive sum from his successful acting career, endorsements, and business ventures. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.